Hello viewers, hope you are doing well. Welcome to Elimi TV, a station where you watch and learn. I am your tutor, Sarah Maivel. So today I'm taking you through CRE Form 2, Lesson 7. Our topic is still under the infancy in the early life of Jesus. And our subtopic today is the birth of Jesus. We are going to look at the birth of Jesus. Welcome. So we are going to start with our lesson goals, our lesson objectives. What is expected of the learner by the end of the lesson? So by the end of the lesson, the learner should be able to describe the birth of Jesus. By the end of the lesson, the learner should be able to describe the birth of Jesus. We are now going to look at the birth of Jesus. Remember, the angel appeared to Mary and told her that she is going to bear a son. Would be called Jesus. Mary was a virgin and this message really f shocked her. But we are going to look at the birth of Jesus. So the birth of Jesus took place in Bethlehem. The birth of Jesus took place in Bethlehem in Judea. In Judea. It was during the reign of, of Augustus Caesar, a Roman emperor. And during that, on during that time, Rome was conducting a censor of the people or the citizens for the purpose of collecting taxes. So the census was ordered by the emperor to determine payment of taxes. Joseph of the house of David had to go to his hometown for census and his hometown was Bethlehem. And so Jesus was born during this time. He was wrapped in swaddling clothes and he was also laid in a manger. He was in a manger because there was no accommodation in Bethlehem. There was no other place where he could be laid. So he was laid in a manger. Then the first people to receive the news that a savior was born were the shepherds. The shepherds were out there looking at their flock. An angel announced the birth of the savior, Christ the Lord. Is an angel who announced to the, to the shepherds that the Savior, Jesus had been born. And the shepherd went to, out, went to Bethlehem and saw, as they, and saw Jesus as they had been told. The angel was the first people, the, sorry, the shepherds were the first people who went to Bethlehem and saw child, the child, Jesus. And the shepherd, they spread the, they spread the world, they, spelled, they, spelled, they spread the word concerning what had been told about the about they spread the word concerning what had been told to them about the child so is the shepherd who spread to the world about jesus and the news spread all over but we that's how we describe the birth of jesus and there is a uniqueness or there is extraordinary about the birth of jesus we want to see how the birth of Jesus was extraordinary or how it was unique. One, Jesus was born and laid in a manger, although he was a king. It's extraordinary. You can't expect a king to be born and laid in a manger. Another thing, his birth was announced by angel Gabriel. It's unique. His birth being announced by an angel. Then, his conception was through the Holy Spirit. He was conceived through the Holy Spirit. Remember, Mary was a virgin and he has been engaged to Joseph, but they had not gotten married. Another way we can see the birth of Jesus was that his birth was revealed first to the shepherds through an angel. It's through an angel that the shepherds got to know the information about the birth of Jesus, the child Jesus. Another uniqueness is that his name was given before he was born. His name was given even before he was born. Another uniqueness is that the angel sang in praise of God during his birth. So during his birth, the angel sang him during his birth. So those are some things you can see that the birth of Jesus was unique or it was extraordinary. So we have seen the birth of Jesus and now we have seen also how the birth of Jesus was extraordinary. Then you have a task or an activity. Activity one, describe the birth of Jesus. Activity two, explain how the birth of Jesus was extraordinary. 
On to our references, you can refer to Secondary CRE Student Book 2, KLB 3rd Edition. We refer to Secondary CRE Student Book 2, KLB 3rd Edition. Thank you for joining us for this and more. If you have a question, a comment, or an opinion, you can contact us through our SMS number, which is on the screen. You can also find us on YouTube, Elimu TV, on Facebook, Elimu TV, and on Twitter at Elimu TV underscore KE. Till next time, bye-bye.